Hey guys, Emily from Create 86 here. I'm trying a little bit of a different uh, video angle with my selfie stick. All right, so this is my Buteo bunker. It's beautiful. And I did end up using the strap for it. Sorry if the lighting is not perfect. I can actually maybe change it. Here we go. Ah, there you go. So here it is, and I am using that strap as you can see. You open it up, and here is my setup for you. Uh, just some sticky notes in the front. This is a piece of cardstock that I um, used acrylic paints on. I just added water to acrylic paints and made it more like a watercolor. And then I painted it and put it in here. So it also has packing tape all over it, and then it's held down by like uh, duct tape, washi tape that I found at the Dollar Tree. So inside here, I just have uh, some business cards, some stickers, and some cut down uh, Target Dollar Spot lists, and a paper clip. So then my first booklet is my schedule. And it's actually, you can see that it's bigger than the other books. So here's how I did my schedule. The inside there's just some sticky notes and a paper clip. So here's my weekly schedule. It's a week and a page. I hope you can see that okay. So the stickers are Monday through Sunday with the dates on them. And then the week is up in the corner, because I like that feature. So this is the, um, the first week of August. See, it's kind of pretty full. I gave myself two lines per date, and it worked out perfectly with a little bit of extra note room down at the bottom. So it's continuous like that all the way through. And then eventually it changes. Here's October's start. And eventually it changes through to um, these type of stickers. These are, I think, are the Avery labels, and I just cut them in half. So that goes all the way to the beginning of January. So that's my schedule, which I love so far. And here's the other side of that folder with some more notes and stuff and some page flags. A few sticky notes in the back that I had used other places and just didn't want to waste them. My second book is Lists, and these are just from, um, I believe they're from either Smash or Recollections, one of their, like, grab bags that they had, held on by some washi tape. And this is just a book of lists, so my first list is my Music Musts, group, uh, any group that I'm looking forward to buying, hearing. Um, the shows that we've watched on Netflix, which is kind of sad, but it's pretty big. <laughs> and if I run out of room on a list, I can always just pick a new page and start. Like, it doesn't bother me that it'll be out of order. These are games that we would like to purchase on Xbox One. This is just a gift wish list. If anybody asks, hey, what would you like for a present for any holiday? This is what I'll choose off of. Then I have these left over from Smash, and it says I want, just a few things that I want, to bake, and to make, and then I have my 2015 fantasy football draft information there, because it's my first time. So that's all the lists for now, there's some random sticky notes back here, but I just need to figure out where I want to put them. My third book is blogging ideas. Another uh, photo that I thought was pretty cool from one of the um, Smash or Recollections collections uh, grab bag. So it's literally just a list of blogging ideas and blogs that I've done and any other information regarding that. Um, I also have a tab at the top and it's Facebook, play, uh, the groups on Facebook that I share my blog at. My last book, I think it's kind of cool. You haven't seen that one yet. 
I'm actually not sure what to make it. Um, it was given to me in this uh, Buteo Bunker. It was made by Buteo Bunker and it's just plain white paper. And I thought I would decorate it with, these are Recollections uh, stamp packs. So they're, I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they were real at one time. I don't, I don't know where they got the inspiration for them, but they have like Brazil, Espana, United States, England, stuff like that. So then it's just plain white paper on the inside. And I honestly don't know what to do with it yet because I'm not an art journaler by any means. Um, and I've pretty well got my lists and stuff taken care of, but, um, I'm thinking about expenses possibly, but I have another place for expenses. So if you have any ideas, be sure to leave them down in the comments and I would love to hear them. So that's basically my setup. It's, <laughs> it's definitely pared down from my personal file facts. I'm literally just moving everything into here and I'll end up probably either selling that one or using it as a reference. I also made these these two, they're the same folder inside, just this is, I didn't paint this. And here's another one. So, if I get bored, I can switch it out and I could decorate these with stickers or something, I don't know. Well guys, that's my setup. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. And I will see you guys later. Bye.